Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial guys, I'm going to show you how to save a backup of your current setup so you can test out other builds, test out other setups without losing your current setup on the Android Fire TV stick. So first up, what we're going to do is I'm just going to start up Cody. As you can see, I've already got a, a build installed so I can show you. It's just one that was already installed from a previous video. As you can see, the build's installed. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make a backup of it so that Cody doesn't interfere with it while you can still test out new setups okay now we've come out of Cody we're gonna go into the ES file explorer we're gonna go down to home we're gonna go across to Android now this is a little tricky it it might get you a little confused as you can see nothing is highlighted for you to select all you have to do guys is press left on your remote go up to home and across and we want data and just as we've done before guys left up to home and this is your Cody setup folder everything you have currently set up in your Cody or media center however you want to call it guys it uses this folder now to make a quick backup and save it so that you can test out other options test out other builds however you want to do highlight the org.xbmc.cody folder Press and hold your center button around your directional pad on your remote. Notice how the home page is automatically highlighted. You want to go down all the way to the bottom and then go across to rename and press the OK button. We want to change this so as you can see it is highlighted. So just press your OK button to bring up the keypad and all we're going to do is just B K U P as in short for backup go down to next and press your OK button now the ES file manager is going to rename the folder to what we've just named it there you go guys by doing this guys you have automatically created a backup it will be saved on your device in its current folder you can now exit as we will do we'll go and start up our media center and as you can see guys it is not using that folder anymore what it has done is restarted Cody from fresh there is nothing installed there's absolutely nothing installed this is a fresh start now you could use that and test out other builds see if they work for you if they don't work for you I know a lot of people struggle to get their current setup backed up what this will do now because we've restarted Cody, it has created a fresh org.xbmc.cody folder. So anything that you do do within it after backing up guys will be in that folder. If you want to return to your previous setup, the only thing you have to do is go into the AES file explorer again.
Now we want to go down to Home, across to Android, press left, then up to Home page, press right into Data, left again, up to Home page, right, and as you can see, this is the previous setup it was using, but we renamed it, so what it's done is automatically created a fresh folder for all the settings so the only thing you have to do guys to go back to your previous setup is highlight the org.xbmc.cody folder press and hold your OK button go down across select delete we're not going to send it to the recycle bin as this will still use the storage on our device so we're going to unselect that guys down to cancel across to OK and select OK to delete delete files successfully now to go back to your previous setup go up to the home page across and down to our renamed folder what we did earlier we're going to press and hold our OK button until it highlights it and ticks it we're going to go down and across to rename as you can see the name is selected so we're going to press OK on that again now to delete you can either use the double back arrows on your remote as such or you can use a directional pad and your select button to delete once you've renamed it back to org.xbmc dot Cody you can select next or use the play pause button rename successfully now we're going to exit guys we're going to go back into it open it back up and as you will see I've got the previous build back it's a very easy feature guys I hope this video helps you out don't forget to comment like subscribe and I shall catch you on the next one thanks for watching